show today I gotta fix that little rail I got my tire iron in the back I fixed my tire or I should say my brakes were feeling good just got out of an argument with a neighbor at a customer's house had to put them in line can't back down when people challenge you you can't back down so it's a nice day I have to go pick up a lawnmower blade I bent one of mine and usually they're twenty dollars for the blade one blade I couldn't get it straightened enough to use, so I had to break down and buy one. Now they're $35 for a blade. I almost fell over. But what can I do? I need them to make money. So, make the best of it. I gotta stop this rattling. I get to the next house. Which I'm sure you hear it dinging around in there. But at least we could stop today, so that's a plus. So I was having a good day until the uh, neighbor uh, I missed what you said. How you doing Pika? Nice to see you. Just had a big argument with the neighbor. You missed it. It was a good one. I wish I was live. You guys would have been proud of me. You'd been like, damn, that guy's good. I gotta see what you said. I gotta drop off this one lawnmower real fast. I'll be back in one second. What'd you say? One Molons? Molons? This is going to happen tomorrow. Everything's tomorrow. I'll be back in a second. I'm back already. Don't run away. So you missed the going, I'll tell you real fast. Hope there's nobody behind me because I don't remember. Nope. I fixed my brakes too. We got brakes. We're able to stop again. So I was at one house cutting. I forgot to fix that little thing in the trunk to the rattler. Hopefully I got that fixed too. I was at the house and so I was finishing up trimming, weed whacking. I'm not sure what they call it, where everybody's from. I call it trimming, some people call it weed whacking. Edging the sidewalks. I look over, because the driveways are pretty close to each other. There's probably like maybe a six foot strip of grass and four feet of the grass is the neighbor's house I cut. So when I make one pass, instead of shooting on the customer's car, I shoot it towards the neighbor's house, but it's not nothing too messy. And when I'm done, I clean up. I always do a good job cleaning the neighbor's up because I don't want to argue with nobody. So I see a lady, uh, older lady giving me a dirty look out the side door. And the side door opens up, so I thought she was gonna ask me to cut the grass. I was like, oh, no, because it needs to be cut. And I don't have no time. Opens the door. Shut the lot, shut my trimmer off, and I go, hello, and she goes, when you cut the grass, it's all blown in my house. So I was nice about it for a second, I didn't say nothing. So nah, ma'am, I don't I don't blow the grass when I'm done. Uh, I don't know how it gets in your house. All your doors are closed, all your windows are closed, and all your curtains are closed, so I have no idea how it's getting inside your house. So she said some smart ass remark back to me. So I started to get a little pissed, but I was holding my ground, being nice. Figuring she would just, you know, she could just open the door and said, Hey, sir, would you mind blowing the grass the other way? And we'll end the conversation. Instead, we had a, a full-blown argument between her and she sent her husband out. But I didn't lose it till her husband came outside. I was super cool. So I went back to the car. I got my blower. I'm ready to start cleaning up. And I see he's in the driveway, so I know it's on. So the customer's house I'm at said, the guy came to the front, he said, oh, this guy's a jerk. I said, I know, I said, I'm sorry for what I'm gonna say to him. I said, but I'm gonna end the situation right now, it's gonna be done. 
So the guy starts hopping, harping on me and saying some crap to me, calling me some names. So I just lost it. I told him off hard. And... So next week when I go back there, hey. Okay, tall. We were, we were arguing because the lady says that I'm shooting grass about 30 feet inside her house from my lawnmower. But all the grass is the neighbor's grass because when the husband cuts it or whatever, he just leaves the grass everywhere. So it's got like clumps of grass on the edge of the sidewalk. She said it was for me. There ain't no way I'm shooting grass that far. And I clean up after myself. And it was so dried out. So it was, that's what she was mad about. But the, the conversation could end it quickly, but she had to could carry on and, and say some stuff and then send the husband out to say some stuff. And so, in that situation, you can't back down. You gotta let it out. Either he's gonna try to give me a fat lip or I'm gonna give him a fat lip, but it didn't get to that. But I think I got the situation solved. Got my point across. Oh, great, this house got leaves on the sticks on the front porch. So anyways, to be a nice guy, I'm gonna, when I go back next week to cut the grass, I'm gonna shoot the grass on that lady's driveway and I'm not even gonna blow it off next week. If you wanna be an asshole, I'll be a jerk right back because I don't start no trouble with nobody. So Toad's here, Pika, nice to see you. Hope you're having a good day, better day than me. But now I got a burst of energy from arguing. The argument, like I said, was about that. That's, an over that's not an overreaction. You gotta put people in line. Or else they're gonna give you the eyeball every week and try to think you're the boss. They're the boss of you. And I got nothing to do with them. They don't pay me. I don't make no mess at their house. I clean up after myself with a little bit of grass. But the point of the argument is they could end it very, very easily. Gotta get these branches off this guy's front lawn. <sighs> oh, no, but, uh, they must have been brewing with it for like a week or two probably that they were thinking about that. And I got this tripod, I broke it again yesterday. I fixed it up last week and broke it again. Ugh. It's the luck of the Polish and English, that's what the problem is. I got that. Let's see if this baby works, I gotta see what I got you guys on. Hope you guys are supposed to be hot by your house. I was watching the weather. Upper 90s, that's pretty hot. We're supposed to get that. Tomorrow and on Saturday, too, is supposed to come back and get us. Who's queen? Dean's the queen now? It could be the dancing queen. That dancing queen. Young and sweet, only 17. And it's acting up. You gonna mess with me today, car? Gotta figure this out. How am I gonna do this uh, today? Maybe that way it work better? Maybe not. We got some technical difficulties today. Uh, I have to break down and order another tripod.
window set. Uh, swing this around. Now we got a lot checked on. It's cool. That's overreaction. Toad to be back. Mrs. Toad, Mr. Toad. Hey, Mrs. Toad, if you're watching, nice to see you. That's cool. If it's Mrs. Toad, that's nice. Welcome, Mrs. Toad, if it's you. If it's Toad, I don't know. I might be clay in disguise. <laughs> For all I know. Hope you're having a good day, Dean. Same for you, Pika. I'm having a great day. It only gets better. And everybody wanted to talk this morning, too. That's another thing that sucked. Uh, fix this. I don't got no tape with me. It's one thing I got in my superhero bag. Is electrical tape or duct tape or anything? I could use that to fix my tripod. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down, Charlie. Got carried away there. Right there, whoa. Nice to the neighbors, Paul. They don't take care of the weeds here, so make that little bit look nice just for the customer. Just a courtesy, I'm right there. Take an extra couple seconds. Show you guys how to change the string real quick. I don't want to stick. Come on, buddy. It's called the rapid change. Rapid head, speed feed. You gotta carry in your back pocket extra strings. It's like ammunition. You just look through the hole real quick. If you can see daylight, you're good. If not, spin it. You can see daylight. Push the string straight through. I bite it in the middle to find the middle point. Slide it to the middle. Just keep spinning it. It's a lot nicer than the old trimmer heads. You're going to take them apart and spin them vice versa and wrap them around. Back in business.
had a brilliant thought. Got some pear growing too, sweet. Those are good for a lunchtime snack. So I was thinking, let me shut my radar down so I don't know it, you guys. I had this thought, I was thinking that maybe Mrs. Dean got rid of Mr. Toad and now Mr. Toad is gone and she collected insurance money and go under Dean. Hmm. Got me wondering the last couple minutes. I've been thinking about that. Anything's possible nowadays. Get this guy a quick blow on him out of here. There ain't nothing to blow. But he's home and looking, so go through the motions. I thought of to do today busy on Friday busy Sunday I gotta go back and do that mulch tonight and get that job done never ends no free time but we got breaks so that's the positive the positive thought for today we will be stopping Sounds good. It's kind of muggy today, but we got a good breeze. Nice twist on a sugar cone with rainbow sprinkles. That's what I'm thinking for lunch. Stop for the ice cream stop. Get myself one. Get you guys one too if you want. I got a couple dollars. Got all the money coming in. Spin around. Hey, Shredda. How are you doing? Is your move going on today? You're still packing. Hey, Smile's here. Smile, you missed the argument I had this morning. 
I should have recorded it, but I didn't have nothing. Toad, I seen that one. You got the toad, maybe? Yeah. Thank you for looking good, my man Paul. I was stalking you, smile the other day. I found out you got another account on Twitter. So I was checking that out. Took a picture of you and your mom for her 75th birthday or Mother's Day. It was a nice picture you guys took at the bar. Hi, Outdoor Smile. Hey, Shredder. Hey, Pika. Thanks. I got to go. You're watching golf today? You should be golfing. It's more fun. I like golfing. I'm not a big fan of watching. It's anything with baseball. The most noisy machine in the world. Is that my trimmer, maybe? Yeah, everything's noisy, but they're not that noisy. They might sound loud in the video. I had a video one time from snow plowing, and somebody left a comment. It was the funniest comment ever somebody put. But I'm happy because somebody took the time to write a comment. They put, the video is actually better when it's muted. <laughs> oh, the blower's loud? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but that was good, though. I liked that one. I got mad for a second, and I was like, man. And then I thought about it, and I said... That was my niece. I wonder where she's going. <laughs> but I got I got mad for a second about that combo. Like I said, man, at least that guy took the time to actually type something. That's that's pretty funny. I was laughing and after I accepted that it probably was better with the muted no sound in the video. So I'm just plugging away, I'm doing good. I got a super busy week. Had a discussion with a neighbor, it got heated a little bit. About nonsense, it could have been ended in 10 seconds, but they kept pushing my buttons. And I got my brakes fixed. That's the best thing. Still didn't get to weed whack dogs. That was on my list for last night's honeydew list, and I didn't get to that. Maybe I'll try again tonight, and who knows? This morning we had a small thunderstorm blow through. It lasted about an hour. It was a good thunderstorm, actually, about 5.30 to 7 it was going on. So I thought that would slow me up a couple minutes, but the sun popped out, it dried everything out. So I'm plugging away. Here's one of my other buddies too. Coming. Ah, so I'm just uh Then you guys look at crypto today at all? I checked it out early this morning at like five. Looked like everything was up just a small bit. I'll read your thing in a second. Tomorrow or Thursday, the video drop my engine out. The Lincoln. What'd you put in there? A 302 or 351? Was it a Cleveland? Was it a Windsor? Did you put a Cobra Jet 429 in there? Why'd you stick in there? I'm interested. Any cam to it? Any cam headers? Any valve job done to it? Did you bore it? Or it's just like just getting it going just to drive it around and then you're gonna make it a hot rod. Lincoln, because he says, man, you're going to stop me drinking if you don't stop driving that hot ride Lincoln. That's a good song. I'll, I'll read your comment. I'll be at the next house in about one minute. I'll take a break for a second, grab a drink. Wow, it's 1130 already. Man, time goes by fast when you're having fun. Next thing you know, I meet you guys on here. We laugh a little bit and bam. Puts a smile on my face. It's like outdoor smile. I'll read that in a second. I'll be there. I'm coming around the bend. It's the uh, one house, skip the house, and then two houses at the end by the creek. Yep, we're putting a C6 in it, a C4. What's going in it for a transmission? Oh, the guy's got my parking spot over here. Come on, buddy. I want to park down at this house and I'll shoot grass from my car. I'll, have to park. I'll park under the tree actually. That's in shade. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll read your comment about the car in a second. Hopefully this person doesn't back into me. Backing out of their driveway. What you got going on with these comments here? It says... Tomorrow, Thursday, Lincoln, I think... It's a fake pump for crypto. Yeah, I was watching a couple other guys talking last night. 
302 EFI original. That's a good motor though. Can't break them. Five liter. That's good. Uh, no bore or, or original. Hey Shredder. Hi Pika. It won't until I come back in September. Oh, so you got it like in a storage place? You got it in a relative's house? Hi Pika. How are you? Outdoor smile. That sounds like fun for you. Oh, watching golf? Yeah, that would be fun. Especially if you could have a couple of cold Pepsis. That would be real fun then. It makes it more interesting. But like with Pepsi, I should say with a golf and baseball, I'll, uh, I'd rather play them than watch them. I guess it's my short, short attention span I got. Orange sun kiss, and I got a bag of good potato chips for today. For a quick snack. Some ruffles. Undercover. Sweet. So what you got? Oh, you said you're renting a B&B. That's right. And then uh, when you get to Wisconsin. That's cool. So you probably live in Florida then, Shredder? That's your real home then? I'm hanging out in there. Shredder, I'm hanging in there. It's been a rough couple of days. What's the matter, Pika? I didn't know you were under the weather, maybe, or sad. I'm not sure. But we could cheer you up, I'm sure. At least make you laugh, hopefully. Um, my wife told me I don't eat potato chips so I'm on the TV either. I forgot. Sorry. They're a tad bit high, but I'll knock them off quick. So I have to have my snack during clay stream. I'll eat my snack. Because I had my first snack. Smile, it wasn't uh it wasn't Oreos, but these are pretty good too. If you ever tried these? Little bites. There's only four of them. There's not enough in the package, but they're pretty good actually. Give them a try if you never had them. You'll like them. Pretty tasty. No, Shred is from uh Rockaway, like Rockaway, do the Rockaway, almost like the Petey Pete. He's a New York boy like me, one of them damn Yankees. I don't smile if you're still here, you know about the damn Yankees song. It goes, I don't want to hear about it anymore. It's a shame I've got to live without you. See, I knew Shredder from Rockaway, I remember anymore. I just made one mistake. I didn't know what to say when you called me baby. You gotta know that song, Shredder, and Pete and uh, Smile. It was a great song in the late 89, 90. Fun times. I missed what that said. Come on. No, I just saw, uh, I found out being a business person, uh, being in the service business, if you remember people's name, it really impresses them. Orange soda should be mixed with salsa. Those little briny bites are good. I never had it with salsa. You talking about like making a mixed drink? I know something all day. I can't see because it thinks like. I know that song. That's a good one, yeah. It's okay, but like I said, I found out that being self-employed and being in the service business, if you can know people's names, especially when they call you, and you know their first name after you met them for a while, I can't eat chips, I forgot. That's something they, uh, I think it's great because when I walk into a, what's a Florida thing? Orange pop? Oh, I never tried. I'll try that. I got more of that pop home. I buy them by the 12 packs at a Dollar General. I don't know if you guys got Dollar Generals by you. But usually Dollar Generals got good sales like they do. Three 12 packs of like different pops for like 12 bucks. That's a pretty good deal, actually. But I'll try it when I get home. I'll let you know if I see you on Frank's chat tonight because I didn't see nobody. The only person I saw last night on chat was Julia, was on uh, the Warrior Guy for a little bit. But I only stayed there for a couple minutes around 8 o'clock our time. I'm a typical New Yorker weirdo. I like having fun. Some people call me weird. People just call me different. Pika, everything is a Florida thing. Hey, believe it or not, I never been to Florida. I never, I never took my kids there. 
my kids take their kids there, my grandkids, but I've never been to Florida once. I don't go nowhere because I'm married to this freaking business. I hate to say it. I I don't want to say I wasted my life, but uh, I put a lot of time into it, so I just can't walk away because uh, I send people to do stuff, and it gets done half fast and they complain, so I don't like hearing complaints. But that's my fault. The only place I've really been, I went to uh, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Because my uncle lived down there for years. He worked at a chemical factory as an electrician. I hung out for a night in Atlanta, Georgia, but I was younger back then when I did that, so I didn't have no no clubbing or nothing like that. And then just to like uh, Cedar Point in Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio, I hung out there all night with the kids. And I went a couple times and saw Julia at Tropicana, many times actually, when the kids were younger at Atlantic City, New Jersey. Because they had a great package. They had a... You're in the mountains of Buffalo, the McDonald's, head of farm, E-I-E-I-O. Yep, no mountains around here. They're, they're close, but they call them the Allegheny Mountains. They're nothing big, really. They're nothing more than hills. And then I only went to uh, just like Pittsburgh, nothing nothing too far. Just, you know. But like I said, that's my fault because I want to get away. And you can't have no fun when you worry about what's going on or people call for whatever reason. And, and if you don't answer the people when they call you, they uh, uh, they get upset and possibly hire somebody else. So that's not that's not cool on my part. It's almost 11:40 already. Lots of southern people live in Buffalo. Yeah, because they're probably snowbirds going down there for winter time to hang out. But I heard that from the people that that do do that. Especially during when everybody was sick, they didn't like people from New York. They said, change your license plates as soon as you get down there, do your registration of Florida. Because they weren't too happy with the New Yorkers down there. But I can see why, because of, uh, you know, they think our politics and everything, that we're all, you know, Democrats and, but, you know, not me. I vote for whoever the best candidate is. I don't matter what political party you're on. But we're not here to talk about that. Start with the New York cab driving. Oh, what's up with that dude? I don't know, man. There's a lot of weirdos everywhere. That's that definitely ain't cool, but what can you do? I mean, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought they would have did what they did to the Real Trade Center. I never, never would have thought of that ever. That was a clever plan, that. I mean, but it's all because of hatred. People don't get along, they don't like each other, just like this morning. The next door neighbor yelling at me and screaming for no reason. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So anyways, it's almost that time I'm going to jump out and I'm going to go sign on Clay's in a minute. Oh, you guys stayed here for six months and you got to stay six months? What about if you own like a little trailer house down there? Because I know a guy who owns a... He pays crazy money. He's got like a trailer house that's worth maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and he pays like nine hundred dollars a month for lot rent. That's crazy. I see you here briefly. Okay, they're gonna cut the grass myself soon. Yeah, I'll go on Clay's. But uh, Pika, thank you for showing up. Uh, Dean, thank you. Shredder, Outdoor Smile, thanks for stopping. Yesterday, I forgot to thank Danelle too. Danelle, if you listen in the background, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention your name at the end. That's a big, big apology on my part. No heat stroke. He won't get no heat stroke. He's probably going to send his old lady out there to cut the grass while he watches out the front window. <laughs> and supervises. That's cool. But guys, thank you. I'll see you on Clay's and I'll see everybody a little later somewhere. And then I'll catch you guys maybe on Frank's. Or I'll see you in the afternoon stream too. That's awesome. Smile, thanks for stopping. Like I said, thank you, Pika. You were first. Dean, Smile, and Shredder. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm going to check my clays right now. I'm going to sign in and see if I'll beat you guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Be safe. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks again.